Hey guys, how's it going? Today, we're gonna take this plain Type 81 Chicom chest rig and we're gonna turn it into this. All right, so if you take a look at these side by side, you can tell that these uh, pouches have that toggle closure that almost, I think all Chicom chest rigs have. This being the Type 81 has four rifle pockets and these two side grenade pockets or whatever they are, don't really know. Then you've got these loose ends here that you're supposed to tie around behind your back to keep it to your body once you put it on. And that's it. And it's all canvas material. So this is the way they come, plain, really simple, right? What I've done with mine is I have taken, I coated it. This was paint. I was experimenting with this. We're gonna coat this one in a water repellent today. But I coated this one and I changed these closures. As you can see, none of these are toggled, but they're staying closed. And that's because these are all Velcroed shut, right? And this makes it way more usable to open and close quickly without having to fiddle and get these undone or closed back up. And the only other change would be the ends, which is this is common because these straps are very, they're a big pain in the ass to use. These here are way easier once you get them sized right. Doing that behind your back is significantly easier than that is. So, with all that being said, you can look at the back, and the back is just the same. Not much difference here. Uh, I just coated it like I'm gonna coat that one. But other than that, that's all I've done to this, and it's not really a whole lot of work to turn this into this. So let's take a look at how to make those changes. All right, let's take a quick look at the items I used on that Chicom real quick. So we've got the Velcro branded hook and loop Velcro um, squares that I got from Walmart. And these are convenient because one, there's four squares or eight total front and back, four, uh, eight pieces, four pairs that works really well for the four cell pocket Chicom chest rig. And it's uh, heavy duty, holds up to 10 pounds, industrial strength, whatever. But this is what I use because of the size and quantity of it. So works out well for this project. Then this is the water protector that I got from the local Rural King. Uh, I've used it before on something else. It was a, uh, a surplus check uh, rucksack that I used. And it works pretty well for repelling water. But whatever your preferences go with it then i went with the loctite brand super glue there's a couple different ones this isn't the same one i used on my previous chicom but i don't assume it to be much different because loctite branded super glue so there's that and then your standard duct tape uh, i like the duct tape it's a little more stretchy and pliable for stuff like this not the really thick kind of rigid like uh, the camouflage duct tape can be something like the real tree branded it's really thick and it doesn't uh, stick really well like this does this is a very stretchy very loose thin kind of duct tape and i like this because it acts a little bit more like electrical tape where it kind of gets warm and kind of sticks to itself better over time uh, but pick your tape you can use electrical tape too I've used electrical tape a lot for different classes and putting stuff together. So those are the items that I used. Oh, one more thing. You might want two of these if you're buying this exact bottle because one of these is half as much as you need. Ask me how I know. <laughs> so the first step we're going to do is we're going to take these Velcro squares and we're going to apply them to these pouches. And we're going to look at the other one that I did before and you can see really quick about how I've got them spaced 
and about how much is on there. So I'm gonna eyeball it off of that and basically to the tops of these uh, these toggles where they're sewn on. Obviously they're not all the same height because this one's not. Or rather this Velcro is not to that because it's short in piece. But past that first stitch right there or about that first stitch or close to the top of that toggle should be a fine. Um, if you're not worried about the AK mag fitment, if you don't run those then it may not matter to you at all, but I'm gonna try and keep that size appropriately for that. So we're gonna take these and we're gonna use these to hold these uh, pouches open a little bit, make them easier to work on. You don't have to do it, you can just push them flat, but we're going to anyway because they're gonna be sitting in there. So why not? All right, so now, got all those on there. So we're gonna take these and we're gonna attach them to these uh, the pockets themselves, not the flaps. And this is the the rough side of the Velcro, not the soft side. But we're not gonna sew them on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this here Loctite branded super glue, and we're gonna get an idea where these are gonna be at. We're gonna put a square and fill it in, kind of like you would in elementary school when you're trying to glue paper together. And we're gonna put this on there. And what happened on the last time I did it on my other Chicom, this, when it touched the adhesive on there, it kind of like melted, welded it, fused it together because it started to fume. So I'm pretty confident it's gonna stay on there uh, long term. If not, you can always take a pair of, or uh, take needle and thread and sew it on more affirmatively than that. But that's what we're gonna do right now. So, about, about like that. So we're gonna take this here. We're gonna do that right there, that right there. About like that. Then, smash that down and let that sit. Now give it a few seconds and let it fuse on there. If one of the edges didn't get right, peel it up, put more glue, smash it down, it's fine. Not a problem. And if you want to, you can always do this to keep the glue off your hands because they're sticking it to that anyway. So that's not gonna hurt anything. So you can see it kind of soaks into the uh, into the canvas a little bit. It doesn't go anywhere. But it does see to the other side. It's just stuck to my finger through the canvas on the bottom side of that. So it does a pretty good job of going through it and actually fusing it to the Chicom itself. So now once you've got all four of these on there, you need to size these, uh, the, the placement of this Velcro on here. So that way it doesn't give you an issue. Uh, I can't remember, yeah, this one here, I put a rag in the bottom of, so it kind of gives me an idea. But in general, you're gonna want the top of this to sit flush the top of the uh, pouch, which is kind of what the AK mags do by themselves without that in the bottom. So get it about to that spot and figure out how far down that sits. So you can see about the bottom of this here flap is where the bottom of this is. And you can tell pretty close that's what this here is done as well. So these are the same chest rig, but keep in mind these aren't like super high quality control items. So size it to your size, your mags, 
your particular piece of kit. So, let's do the same thing we did for here on the flaps. After you get these Velcro pieces attached to your Chicom, you have one of two things you can do next. You can either coat it with your water repellent coating if you choose to do that, or you can put your buckle on. We're gonna put the buckle on after we spray it down. So this is just some water protector, some water repellent that I got at the local Rule King. And we're gonna use it on this. Pick your variety, your brand of water repellent um, whatever you prefer if anything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these pouches all closed because that's how it's gonna be when it's being used I'm gonna probably try and hold these pouches like this when I spray or the flaps down when I spray this here so that way I don't spray any of this onto the velcro and then cause it to not stick right because then that's going to be worthless you might as well just use toggles so we're going to go through that and i took the magazines out so that i can flatten this out and get a nice even surface to spray on and i can move on to the next one and so on so that way i'm not having to try and spray down into this and it runs down and it gets built up here it doesn't get evenly coated so if you ever done anything like spray painting before it's not too much different than that, at least that's not how I do it. It's just gonna be constant back and forth brush strokes until I get the whole thing coated, uh, front and back. And the back's easy, because it's all nice and flat and smooth. But uh, pretty much that. And I'm not gonna worry too much about these here, uh, because these are thin, and these don't have anything whole inside of them like these do. So the contents of these pouches matter keep dry potentially whereas these don't so that being said let's get to it All right, now that we've got the Chicom coated, at least the first layer. If you wanna do more than that, go ahead, uh, for whatever your purposes are. But we're gonna take these straps for the final step and we're gonna put the buckle on that to make it infinitely easier to attach behind your back. So with that being said, all we're gonna do, we're gonna take it, Flip it over like you were going to put it on so that way you get the contour of the buckles properly oriented Because you can see There's a slight bow to it. So we want to keep that Contour to the to our back, right? So that's this buckle in particular so all we're gonna do is Move it through and through. Through and through. And it'll hold when it's got tension on it. But just to help keep it in place, I like to tape them down. And this is also really useful if you're doing uh, different training at different times of the year because if you want it this size which is gonna be size to you then that's great but right now it's summertime 
so I'm not wearing big coats and big jackets. However, I will be when it comes winter time and I'm taking winter time classes. So you're gonna have to open this up and change it and resize it for you. That's all it takes though. Now granted I would take it, I would take these tails and put them back down tighter because I don't like loose things flopping around. So we'll go ahead and do that now, but this is the last step. And there you go. So guys, there you have it. It doesn't take a whole lot of time or items to make the changes that I made to my chest rig to a plain out of the box Chicom. You can do this with other Chicoms as well, right? The three cell mag pouch with the four small pockets, whichever type that is or whatever other variant you have. If you have one of these already, you see one lay around for cheap, and you want to pick one up and do this to it, you can. Uh, there are other videos on YouTube of guys doing it their way. Check those out. Some guys have different preferences. Some guys like to run shock cord or bungee cord through these to add compression to it, and that's cool. You can do that too. Uh, this is just pretty simple, pretty easy. It doesn't take a lot of time, energy, or know-how to make this happen and now this is going to be a lot better to, uh, for using in actual classes other than just being a way to hold magazines it's going to be a way to draw them put them back re-index um, all that so that being said it's what i do to mine let me know what you think if you got any ideas let me know but appreciate you all watching i'll see you guys next time